Mind Freak! Sorry, it was just an old thing that popped up. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to a beautiful evening here with your favorite Vitamin DGR back in the beautiful world of Pokemon Violet. You already know, I'm doing this pose. It's, it's gonna happen. It's happening live, it's happening now. And you're probably wondering to yourself, Twitch, more specifically than YouTube, hey, you're doing this a little early. Well, to be fair, I'm actually also doing this on a different day. YouTube, you're, it's gonna come out the normal Tuesdays, but Twitch, yeah, I went through a storm and my Elgato had issues. You already know with the Elgato thing, it's not much of a shocker right there. So I will start by saying a couple of things here on a more serious note, uh, because I do want to be upfront with you guys as, well, I mean, what am I not ever upfront with you guys, I guess. <clears throat> on the first thing, uh, this episode is going to be a bit on the short side uh, due to time constraints. I do apologize. Uh, I am planning on maybe doing an extra longer episode next time, maybe a different day, but we'll see. Um, and, of course, you guys are probably wondering why I'm specifically here, because I guess last time I didn't really touch this on. So, to give you a brief recap, uh, so I did try to stream last night, uh, or last day to night, I guess it's more precise to say. Unfortunately, like I said, some issues happened, uh, but you didn't miss too much, so I'm gonna give you a recap of what happened. First off, this is my destination. I'm going to Alfernada. Um, I decided, you know what, I want to clear, like, this whole, like, outer area first because i did like all the other gyms and uh titans and all that stuff and the team star stuff but i completely left this area alone for a long time because i was like oh i wonder if it's strong but then i realized i'm pretty strong so i should be able to handle this so yeah i'm gonna go fight the uh what's this one tulip i'm gonna fight the uh psychic gym just to get that over with or at least make my way there um see what happens next uh and then on the way only those that really have watched my episodes may know, but this area may feel familiar to you. If not, I explored the southern, or this, like, little, I guess, where is this, more western area? The sea area here? Many episodes ago, people might remember that I tried to encounter, or, excuse me, I did encounter a Dragonair that had, like, the thunder thing that, like, I knew was, like, okay. It's, like, level 53 or 54, and I was like, oh, it's going to destroy me. Well, uh, I recorded me fighting it, and, uh... I caught it. Uh, nicknamed it Raya. Shout out to Axis who gave inspiration for the name. Uh, but yeah, I took it down, captured it. So now Raya is totally part of the team. And I went on this whole tangent about like, how, despite my love of Dragonite, I think I want to keep Dragonair as Dragonair. I'm not going to evolve it, and I really hope I find a Dragonite. Uh, oh, right. I got to do my tagline. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me just uh, get back to my pose here because I forgot I got to do that. Zoom in a little bit. And then just get close to the camera. Hang on. <laughs> For those that wish to follow more of my content, which is to find out what next uh, niche games I'm playing, or you wish to just hear the lovely sound of my voice, maybe there's the random nerdness that you're triggered by and you're like, ooh, I like this guy, or I trigger your curiosity. Whatever reason you have, if you wish to support some support, I really appreciate a follow on my Twitch under the handle of DGR, and you can also subscribe the same name under the same place at YouTube. I guess it's not technically the same place because Twitch and YouTube are different, but whatever. Nonetheless, you know in the right place when you see a love of dog. Okay. Now with that out of the way, uh, and what's messed up too is because I like went on these tangents, so I'm probably gonna just redo them. But yeah, like I said, this is gonna be a bit on the short side. Do apologize. Uh, I will make it up to you guys next time. Because uh, I know normally I do like uh, at least like hour, two hour videos. This one's definitely not gonna be that. But, eh, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's the whole plan. And what's even more messed up to- Oh. What? Where'd that light effect come from? Is it from the Pokeball itself? Is the Pokeball itself having that- Wow. Whatever. Uh, and what's messed up too is because I went on this tangent last episode. So, well, I mean, when I thought I was recording last episode- properly but you know life is funny like that i guess uh hey what's up dude i don't want you but i can catch you go away save a life okay i should be able to catch this i don't think i'm too strong never mind i am too strong i'm just gonna catch that toxicity too Fine, then I'll just work on this Metacham. I want this one, for sure. Okay. 
Uh, so a couple things like I talked about, or that was, excuse me, that I was talking about before I realized my episode was messed up. First off, I didn't realize this. Uh, shout out again to Axis, because I'm not taking credit for this. He was the one that pointed it out. I didn't realize I made Zuko a harem. Like, I didn't realize all my Pokemon were female, except for Zuko. It just kind of happened, and I, I kid you not, I did not intend on that. I mean, I knew I was going to have Cereza and Melody as female, and... Uh, I knew I was gonna have... So, I, I wanted these Pokemon specifically female, yeah. I didn't expect Raya to be female. Uh, that's the first thing. Secondly, I didn't expect the Pokemon I was gonna be running with was gonna be female specifically. So, go go figure, I guess. Um, secondly, I need a move that's super not effective. I'll use Cereza. Cereza should be able to not do too much damage. Let's go with Cereza, the reliable partner. Why is it Cereza? I do more love to Zuko. Good job. Okay, we need some weak... Oh. Hmm. Now I'm not too confident. Oh, man. Huh. Well, this is interesting. I don't know what move I can use that won't do too much damage. Darn it. Well, Dundar's doing dumb moves. I Making mean, it lucky. One, two, three. Wow, I got lucky. Alright, cool beans. That was completely intentional. Yeah. Uh, Metacham uh, avoids attacks with dance like steps, then dances and launches a devastating blow in the same motion. I'm going to name it Chie. Shout out to those who get the reference. I don't think I have enough characters for the last name, though. Nah, I don't have enough characters. Oh, well. Welcome to the team, Chie. How do I get on that rock? Whatever. Ooh, there's an item up there. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention... Hold on, I'll fight you in a second. I saw an item up there. Eh, stuck. The other thing I was mentioning uh, before I realized my episode was messing up and anything... Ooh, Rock Team. Cool. Uh, was, and maybe it's just because I usually like to try and go more or less around the theme of this episode. Uh, but I thought about, um, oh, hello. Hey, what's up? I can fight you real quick. Uh, would you be so kind as to battle me? Celebration for Richard Afanada? I would love to, but this Diglett's kind of fronting on me. Where'd he go? Go away, Diglett! Or Doug Trio, excuse me? What do you want? Does I pay attention to us? No, I'm busy. Yo, this Doug Trio won't, like, back off my space, dude. Oh, that's, that's a good name for a guy. What the heck Pokemon is that? I have no clue what that Pokemon is. Uh, It looks like a bug, so I'm going to burn it. Okay, it is a bug. And it probably is a bug. Okay, never mind then. Oh, you know what? That was you. Okay. Thought you had more Pokemon than that. This is enough, Rada. No, you're in a cave. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna just bounce because these Doug Trios are fronting on me. Um, so, the reason, uh, the thing I was talking about before this episode. Oh man, I do want to catch this. Hey, what's up? I kind of want to catch it, but I don't know what move I can use that won't be too strong. Not very effective. Oh, Cereza, but oh, no, Cereza will crush it. Maybe Melody? Maybe Cotton? Let's try Cotton. Yo, yeah. Uh, you probably noticed another new Pokemon. I caught a Swablu. I pumped it full of, like, experience candies. Uh, evolved into Altaria. I knew I was gonna get one at some point. Told you I would. But I'm confused. Yeah, okay. Great. I literally just started. Oh, great. Shake out of it. I need to catch this. For, I guess. Wow, that really didn't do much damage. Okay, I can do a little more than that. 
God, you confused me and then poisoned me? Jeez, make my day better, why don't you? Ow. Um, so, on, as the, probably, nah, let me start over. Uh, the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. Why do I have a flying Terra? I don't have any flying moves. That was weird. I'm gonna use Dragon Ball. Oh, come on. That stuff can't be due to double whammies. Ah, yeah, of course. I get it. Cotton, come on, girl. You gotta, like, shake out of it, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go in, like, a good story mode here. Thank you. Use Dragon Breath. Ow. Oh, I should probably heal you, huh? Yeah, don't worry, I got you. Heal you up right now. I got you. Bam. There we go. Unless you freaking swagger me or toxic me again. <sighs> Shock and surprise. You know, you really, like... Make me question whether this is worth catching you, Toxtricity. Seriously. Alright, I need to use weaker moves. That's the point. I'm already poisoned. Knock it off. Anyway, the YouTube algorithm struck, uh, as you probably figured, because uh, of my random tangents, uh, tangents and stuff. Um, so, it did... I don't know how it led to it. But it did, uh, there's this show on, I think this station's called True TV. Ah, come on. On True TV. Ah! About to bust out another one. Oh, God. One HP, huh? Yeah, yeah sure. Alright. Uh, you swear, if you use Toxic one more time, I'm gonna change my mind and just kill you. I'm telling you right now, if you use Toxic, you're done. Use Toxic, I dare you. Alright. He gets to live. I guess. Uh, the YouTube algorithm struck, and there was a show on True TV, which I guess makes sense, uh, because it was way long ago. I used to watch the show called The Practical Jokers. Um, but I don't know if maybe like it remembered that from like months ago, or. Oh, come on! Or anything like that, but, uh... How? And I'm poisoned again! Jesus Christ. Come on, Cotton. Wait, don't you have... Oh no, that's Raya. Raya has a thing that, like, gets rid of status elements. I don't want to use an Ultra Ball on this thing. This thing is not worth it. Um, there's a show on True TV called Michael... Or, no. It's the Carbonara Effect. There we go. Uh... And the reason I bring it up is because, like, so the show is about this dude named Michael Carbonara, who's like this magician who does like this magic reality TV show, where it just shows uh, him like uh, punking and shocking all these people because it's like, oh yeah, I can make like all these crazy things happen. Like it showed an episode where um, he had like a styrofoam cup, he had like this like bag of powder or something, and he just put like normal like room temperature water in there. He put the powder in, then he put the water in there. Oh, no, it was like a, um, it was like a, uh, oh, no, it was, I think it was a bag of powder. It was a minute ago, sorry. Um, and then he put his hand over it, and all of a sudden you could see, like, the steam come out of his hand, and then it just became hot tea, or was it hot coffee? I think it was tea. I might be mistaken. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, capital B, please. Uh, oh... Yeah, that'll work. Ooh, I gave it an extra space. No. That's gonna look weird later on. Alright, let me cure you up real quick. Um, but this time I'm not gonna use my stuff. Where is the antidote? I know I should heal them, but I'm going to assume there's like a Pokemon Center nearby or something. Uh, and what was another thing that showed on the Michael Kaminar effect? Uh, it showed... Uh, ooh, thanks. Oh, wait, there's an item over there, too? Hold on. Huh. Oh, 
it's a couple items over here. Holy moly. I need to start exploring more. Seriously, this is not my first bro. Oh. Oh. How do I get up there? Hmm. I need to get up there. Uh. What was another thing that they showed? Uh. Because it was like a compilation that they showed of like all his stuff. Uh. Did they go away, Sable A. Jesus. I'm trying to like chat. I'm gonna chat. Jeez. Eloisa? Oh, that's a cute name. Um. Aww. Uh, not that Pokemon! No! Of all the Pokemon you had to have... You're gonna make me hate doing this. Alright, sorry, you gotta go. I, I gotta remember I have Melody. It's one of my favorite Psychic types. As people probably already know by my rare, uh, random rants. Um, <clears throat> the other thing they showed was like, I guess he had like this pretty woman like help him at like a veterinarian place. There was like this machine... Uh, ooh, I do want a Gardevoir. Uh, there's like this machine that's supposed to like help like old dogs like feel young again or something like that. Uh, don't don't trace my blaze. Don't trace my blaze. It's messed up. Um, I do want to catch a Gardevoir though. I just don't know where one is. Uh, but it it in it show he the woman's like okay uh, how does this machine work and he's like oh yeah it uses like so he just makes up some random stuff uh, because he's good at it I guess. Uh, and it's like, yeah, this thing, like, helps old dogs feel young again. Uh, and he's like, okay, just make sure you press this button, don't, uh, overpress it, blah, blah, blah. And he puts, like, this old, like, dog in there. And then, before he realizes it, uh, boom! Uh, the old dog becomes, like, this little, like, young puppy. And she's just like, oh my god! And then she's, like, freaking out a little bit, because she's like, wow, that's amazing technology. Uh, and he's like, yeah, it's pretty, like, state-of-the-art and stuff. Uh, you know, just doing random, like, lies like that. Um... So what's funny about it is that he's like, oh, I think there's, like, some technical difficulties. Let me go, uh, fix it. So he goes behind the machine. Uh, he's covered by this, like, I think he's covered, like, a curtain or something. Uh, so then he goes to check it out. And then, uh, behind there, he's like, okay, so no matter what you do, don't press this button. Uh, otherwise it's gonna mess up something fierce. Uh, and then she doesn't press the button, but the machine conveniently malfunctions. And he gets, quote-unquote, electrocuted. Ah, oh, darn it, Mudsdale? Yeah, should have switched. Oh, well. Uh... Oh, wait, almost self effective? Oh, but never mind, I can overpower. Um, I thought it was rock for some reason. Uh, so he ends up uh, getting electrocuted, and then it ends up working, and he turns into a kid. And the woman, instead of like... I don't know if it's because of the circumstance, or maybe it's because of the pressure or stress, but she's not, like, you know, thinking properly. So she, like, believes the whole thing. So she's just like, Whoa... No way. You turn into a kid. And then he's like, oh, no. I think this is the, what do they call it? The, the, the Carmenera effect. And, because she's, like, crying, like, losing her mind. And she's like, I don't know what that is. And the kid's like, it's okay. It's just a weird phenomenon where people de-age. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And then the kid's like, it's also the name of a magic reality TV show. And then she's like, it takes her a second to, like, process. Because I guess of, like, the high emotions and everything. So she's just like, what? And then eventually, you know, she, like, comes around and she's like, oh, how does today's weather look? I don't know. Let me see. Looks like cave. Looks like cave. I'll tell you why I'm so worried about the weather. I don't know. We've been going through some storms around my parts. I love it. I love this type of weather. The windier, the rainier, the better. And I've had some thunder, too. Ooh, beautiful. Um, like, it just did a compilation of, how did you make a sandstorm in a cave? How did this come to be? Pokemon makes no sense sometimes, I swear. Also, I'm using the wrong Pokemon. Whatever. I'll overpower. I know it would be better if I chose Cereza or something. But I got this. Um, and the other reason why I bring up the Michael Carbonara effect is because I was watching a lot of them. Uh, but I'll... Oh, ow. Ow. Uh, Lycanroc, huh? Okay, this is all Cereza. <clears throat> but the reason I bring it up is because, so, I, because this was a, a couple days ago, I fell asleep uh, to, like, a compilation of, like, Carbonara Effects, like, stuff. Because, I, I mean, why not? I was just bored, and I usually, like, have something in the background on YouTube or Twitch while I'm playing my games or uh, anything. Um, dropkick, please. And when I woke up the other day, it just popped out, like, oh, good job, sorry, sir. Uh, it did, like... I don't know if it was, it was, the YouTube thing was like Chris Angel then and now. 
So the reason I bring this up is because does anyone remember Chris Angel? Like the illusionist guy that got like outed for like all of his tricks? The reason I bring it up is because I briefly talked about this with Axis uh, the other day before my video messed up. Um, so I'm just going to bring this again because I want my audience to get back to it. Um, there's a Pokeball over here. Oh, there's a Pokeball over there too. I'll get this one first. Um, yoink. Overheat, huh? I'll keep that in mind. Um, the reason I bring it up is because like I remember... Uh, Chris Angel had, like, a show, I think it was a half hour or something like that, uh, called Mind Freak, hence the uh, entry of this episode. If I jump down, it's a dumb idea, but there's an item down there, so. Ouch. Um, and it just popped up, like, some of his stuff, and whoever, it wasn't, like, an official thing. It was like, oh, yeah, this guy's just, like, talking about him. He used to be, like, a big deal and not, I didn't understand much. Where am I? You're about to be toast. That's what's going to happen to you. Uh, and it just felt... Oh, where'd that gibble come from? I was running at the Pokemon and now I'm lost. Is this where it ends? Yep. Oh, okay. Ah, good life. All seven of them. No, nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, what's your Pokemon? Oh, well, your Pokemon had a good life, but it's about to come, cut short a little bit. Right, excuse me. We don't, uh, we don't unalive in this game. We just knock out. Because clearly being burnt to ash is not uh, the same as, uh, is the, or excuse me, is the same as fainting. Sure, we can go with that. Um, but no, it was just, I don't know what happened. So I only, I didn't know about this with, so I knew a little bit about Chris Angel. I didn't know what happened to him. Fortress. What is Fortress? Fortress is... Isn't that the water clam thing? Am I thinking of the same Pokemon? Am I thinking of something else? I'll use the razor just in case. I think it's like that one, the oyster thing, or, oh, well, I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna get my Pokemon messed up. But you can't blame me, there's over like 900 Pokemon. I'm gonna mess up a couple times. Oh no, I was right, cool. I'm on it. I thought I recognized it. Oh wait, what? It's not water? What type is it? I don't know what type is. Hmm. Okay, well, grass isn't doing it. Hmm. It's definitely not that. I don't know what its type is. I thought Fortress was a uh, water, but perhaps I'm mistaken. Maybe it's. I don't know, whatever. Stop it. I was hoping to paralyze it. But I didn't. You keep cursing yourself. Knock it off. I'm just gonna stomp again. I wanna see if I can paralyze it. Uh, but I don't know what happened with Chris Angel. Like, so Axis brought it up. <clears throat> and, wow, yeah, your defense is like way higher now. Ow, I guess. Uh, but what's funny about it is, like, I didn't know what happened. Oh, good job. Uh, I didn't know that... So, for people that don't know, Chris Angel is an illusionist that was, like, I think popular back in, like, the early 2000s? I don't, I don't really know the time span or anything. Yeah, you lost a lot of things. Annoying me with that nonsense curse. I'm out of here. Um, he used to be, like, super popular in, like, the early 2000s. Is, at least I'm assuming as much. Um, and then he just, like, fell out of it, and he used to be, like, really cool, and he had, like, some really good publicity, like, a lot of people were like, yo, this guy's, like, kind of pretty, like, pretty wild. I think a lot of people were like, oh, he's like a living demon, his illusions are crazy, he can, like, pull his hand off or some nonsense like that. Uh, and for those that, uh, whoa, oh, okay, we'll just, I just float in on nothing for some reason. Okay, we'll just accept that. Uh, anyway... <laughs> But at one point, like, his illusions started getting, like, outed re really badly. Like, really badly. They, like, ripped him a new one, guys and girls. Like, there'll be like, a trick where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this, like, cut a body in half. But then it clearly shows, like, the body's in there. But it's not just, like, oh, simply outing it. It's more like, oh, they, like, show every detail about how this guy's illusions are. And they basically, like, people are not kind. People ripped him a new one. 
I, I don't think he recovered because clearly the fact that most of my audience right now, it's probably going to be down to like 70, no, like 75, 25, maybe. We're like 75% of y'all Laurentis. I don't know what Laurentis is. Is that a bug? It sounds like a bug. It's a bug. Oh, yeah, I remember that Pokemon with the sweet pants. I like it. I like that Pokemon a lot. Burn. Um, sorry. I, I actually do. That's actually one of the few bug Pokemon I do like, actually. Because I always like this, like, bell-bottom pants. Uh, which, if I find one, I'm going to name it bell-bottom. Somebody tell me how to find one. I'm serious. Uh, losing is it fun? It never is. Trust me. I know. It hurts. Some more than others. I mean, I wouldn't know that feeling, but you you definitely do. Um, so for those in context, I love magic. I love magic shows, illusions, tricks, all that jazz. If I could learn it, I would. Uh, if I just had the resolve and patience. Um, is this the right way? I think so. Actually, what is this Pokemon? What are you? I, don't, I remember this Pokemon, but I don't remember. Shogun. Hmm. I'm gonna use a weak ghost attack. Shouldn't do too much damage. Wait, I'm Zuko. I'm strong. Yeah. Darn it. I, like, lost myself for some reason. I was like, wait. I have Zuko out. <sighs> Whatever. I do kind of want to catch one. I'm gonna switch my Pokemon up. Let's use... Let's use Elsa. Elsa's weak. I should be able to catch it, considering Elsa's not that much strong. How did we get over here? I'm pretty sure I'm down there. Wait, where am I? How'd I get up here? Whatever. Oh, it's super effective, huh? Oh, oh okay, okay. <sighs> okay, I need weak moves. No, because I'm pretty sure if I use Zuko, I'll burn it. I think Sarai's is too strong. Oh man, this sucks. I don't know what moves I should use that guarantee catch it. I mean, I'll try Cereza's Trop Kick. I think that's weaker than Leaf Storm. Darn it. I don't want to, like, get rid of another one, though. Uh, but I don't know what happened. Oh. Ow. Alright, let's use Trop Kick. I don't think it do, should do too much, maybe. Okay, we can work with that. We could totally work with that. Ow, I guess. One more ought to do the trick. Yeah, perfect. Also just occurred to me, I'm about to catch the Shellgon. Uh, that's female. So, clearly, this game is setting me up for something. And it busted out. Come on, Shalgon. Don't be like this. Is it because I said you're female? I'm not trying to be sexist. This is Woman's Month. Come on, man. One. Two. Ah, come on! Shellgun! You got time for your nonsense. You're not doing enough. You're just wasting time. Like I'm wasting great balls. I'm gonna keep chucking them at you, too. One. Two. Three. I got enough of these. I will keep doing it. You, you think I won't? Either one of three things is going to happen. Uh, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to waste all my great balls. Or I'm going to end the episode like this. I'm catching you. Just make it happen already. Or give me a lucky catch. Two. Three. Alright, there we go. See? It's basically the Dormammu of Come to Bargain. Now, what is Shogun? Dragon, huh? Probably makes all attacks bounce off. Armor is too tough, however, making it heavy and slow. Uh, I don't Done. Simple and sweet. Alright, now let's move on. Uh, but no, like, Chris Angel's, like, stuff got exposed. I only found this out, like, again, thanks to Axis. Uh, shout out to that dude. Um, that apparently, or well, I don't know if it's true or not, but, uh, he's now doing, like, live shows in Vegas, which maybe make the whole joke of, like, oh, yeah, that's, like, the, 
yeah, I kind of fell out of it. I got no other choice. I want to still be like famous and make a paycheck. I got to do shows in Vegas. I feel like if you're a famous has been, you have no choice but to do shows in Vegas because like, what else can you do? And hopefully I'm wrong on that because that was a little messed up. But at the same time, I think I'm more right than I realize. Uh, let me go this way. I don't know if this is the right way or not. No, it looks like the right way. Oh, if that's the right way. Then let me explore the other parts here. Um, but it sucks when you get like you because you used to be like super good and everyone's just like, no, this guy like super sucks. Like you get all your stuff exposed and then it's like, oh, then what's the point of following this guy? I mean, you put like so much work and effort and everything, and then just to find out your entire career just like goes up and smoke like that, it just sucks. Hang on, I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Yoink. All right, what's up? Hey, it's MC Sledge. Uh, just uh, I got to do uh, you know, I had to do like other things on the side. I need money. Yeah, that was last episode, if everybody remembers. Oh, by the way, shout out to all you people, uh, IRL. Well, I don't think any comments popped up by this point, but for all you guys, uh, IRL that saw it and like shouted out to me about like my whole, oh yeah, I have Elsa. And it's probably fine. Uh, for all you guys that shouted me out about the whole like the, um, oh gosh, when I did the rap for uh, the last gym leader, I'm forgetting her name, but the MC of RIP, uh, Thank you, thank you. It, it, you're way too kind. I really don't deserve it. How'd you avoid it? You're frozen. You're frozen solid. How the heck does that make sense? Also, I forgot I had Elsa out, so... Yeah, man, that's a bad combination. Being frozen and then a crit hit. Way to go, Elsa. Good job. Um... Uh, but no, like, thank you. I, uh, I I really don't I really don't deserve all the praise you guys gave me, but I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, oh, there's a shiny over there, or well, there's a shiny thingy over there. Do I see you riding a Pokemon? That's not the only thing you're gonna see me riding. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, but no, back to the Chris Angel thing. I was like, oh well, I wonder if there are any other like illusionists that like messed up or or that are still popular things like that. Um. And I brought, like, a bunch of others. Oh. Huh. What well, is this interesting? Oh, you have a boy. Oh. Oh, must be nice. Ah, you barely hung in there, huh? Ow! Yeah, but mine's better. I didn't realize how strong Elsa was. Then again, it is, like, tight matchups, right? So I guess it makes sense. But I kind of feel a little bad for Sligu. Uh, I think that's Dragon, right? I think Ice works against Dragon, so I'm just keep it. Uh, I just kind of feel bad because, like, and not just for Chris, but there's probably, like, a bunch of other people that are, like, oh, they used to be super popular and super famous, and then something happened, and now they're forced doing, like, live shows in Vegas. <laughs> I'm not trying to say, like, doing a live show in Vegas is, like, well, I hit rock bottom. But it's, like, clearly not popular anymore. People don't, like, care as much. So... Uh, it's just one of those things where I feel bad because it's like, alright, they have no publicity, they want to stay, like, popular. I forgot how cool Haxorus was. Uh, oh, what, I missed? Ah, oh, Elsa! Ouch. Come on, try it again, girl. There we go. Yeah, see, I forgot how strong Elsa was. Way to go. There's something I'm hearing in my... Uh, got it. Hearing something in my left ear. Or headphone. I thought I trained pretty hard. Don't worry, I can help train you. Uh, what are you doing later? No, 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 no. I'm holding B, holding B, holding B, holding B, holding B, holding B. I'm holding B. Oh, thank God. Phew. Right, stop the volume. Actually, real quick. Oh God. Uh, I hope I have one of those things. Uh. I think it's called the Everstone or something like that. Where is that thing? Uh, no, not that. I think that stops it from evolving. I do not want my... Uh, Ice Stone, Old Stone, Dawn Stone, Dust Stone. I have a lot of these. Do I not have an Everstone? I don't have any Everstones? Really? 
I think that's the that's the item, right? That like stops them from like evolving. Oh no, I don't have an Everstone. And then I just hold B each every time. Oh, that sucks. It's gonna be a time gonna to forget too. I swear I thought I got one. What do I feel like that's an item that I would have had? Like, you know what I mean? Like that feels like one of those items that you would have had like a million times over. And this this isn't it. Oh, this sucks. Alright, well, I guess from here on out, I just gotta be careful when I talk to Raya. I mean, when I uh, deal with Maya. I wanna see what that shiny Pokemon is over there. Probably a waste of time, but whatever. Curiosity didn't hurt nobody, except the cat. I'll hope it's a cool Pokemon. What is it? I don't even see what it is. Oh. Uh... I mean, I guess. Houndoom? It's not really a Pokemon I would normally go for, but eh. Was that a ghost Houndoom? I think it is. But if it is, then I made a good call having Zuko out. It's a girl again! Ugh. This really is Woman's Month. Nope, oh, that's easy. <clears throat> now it's a matter of catching you. Yeah, I'll use a Great Ball. I got enough of these. Uh, seriously, why am I running to all these female Pokemon? One, two, three. Got it. Like, it's not even by intent. It just, it just happens like that. Like, I saw the shiny, I was like, okay, I want it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know what Houndoom is. Uh... Can't name a Cujo, because that ain't happening. Um, hmm. Trying to think of a really dumb name for a ghost fi or a dark fire dog. A female dark fire dog. I can't think of anything uh, like dumb. Meh. I'm going by the fire aspect. It's not good, but meh. She's like, really? Torch? You're giving me a name called Torch? Of all the names you could give? It's like, oh, hey, I'm panicking. <clears throat> uh, dang, that's just way back out, so I guess I'll grab this out of the bolt. Oh, wait, that's Young Goose. Never mind. Now I just go back the way I was. Do I want this Pokemon? I don't really want it. I mean, I could get it. That's a question I'm going to be asking myself now. Do I want this Pokemon? I mean, yeah, I guess. As long as I don't do too much damage. Oh, it's a girl! <sighs> Alright. If you survive, I'll catch you. But if not, then we're moving on. Uh, I was kind of hoping I would one-shot you. Another girl. It truly is Women's Month. Wow. <laughs> and I caught it one try, too. It even... Wow. I think this game is really playing like mind games on me. I think my title might have been a bit more fitting than I was expecting. Uh, it loves sparkly things, huh? Cool. Uh... Some names just kind of pop in my head really quickly. Some take me a second. I'm certain by how fast it is, because I don't really edit my stuff that well, or at all, that people will be like, oh, oh, oh that just kind of sprung to your mind, huh? I don't want to saland it or salazzle. Actually, poison and fire is actually a pretty good combination type. But I know Salazzle's always female. And I'm, okay, I'm not trying to be like Cessus. I'm, and I'm not going to do the one of the, oh, what are you saying, but? No, 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 hear me out. I think I have too many female Pokemon. <laughs> I know my people are going to be like, come on, seriously, like, Zuko's harem's already big enough. It's like, I'm not trying to catch all these female Pokemon. I didn't think that Gabite was going to be female. I truly thought it was a male. 
I gotta... I gotta come up... Besides, some of the names I'm thinking of are, like, more for guys. And I feel like if I name my girl Pokemon that, then they'd be like, really? Like, the torch I just caught. Like, really? You named her torch? It's like, I thought it was cute for a girl. It's like, you thought it was a boy, didn't you? I mean, I won't deny... It. Oh. Oh, wow, we're already here, huh? Well, hold on, let me go exploring. Hey! Keys! Hey! A pair of keys. Oh wait, it's a boy. Okay. Uh uh I need a weak move. Who's who's weak can do it? Boom, Melody. That'll work. <laughs> oh, this is Gotha Gothapita too? Or Gothitel? I do like that Pokemon though. Another favorite of mine. Uh okay. Well, I'm just gonna use a weak cycle cut and call it a new. Ah, the magic room. He's doing my games on me. I don't have any high items. Okay, perfect. I could just use this a couple times and we'll be in there. Actually, I could use a little stronger. I'm catching these keys. I know what name I want to call it. Okay, that should be good enough. I totally know what name I want to call it. I hope I have enough characters for it, though. Eh, it's probably not going to be Pokeball time, huh? Need some little strong... What am I hearing out of my headphones? Oh, I guess it's nothing. Maybe it's outside IRL. I heard, like, this weird, like, whistling sound. Like, a very strong... It's probably the wind outside. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, did I use a Pokeball again? Yeah, I messed up. I should use a Great Ball. That was completely on me. I wonder what other, like, has-been, like, magicians there were that lost their luster that are doing live shows in Vegas. What? Immediately? Good job, Melody. But come on, Clefki. Like, we got no time for this, fam. Get in the ball! Dude, Clefki, come on, man. Keep doing your fancy little magic room. Cool, oh, yeah, you make it bright. It's like... He's so annoying. Fine, I'll just use Pokeballs. Immediately. And it's low on health, too. Unfortunately, I don't have any moves that, like... Well, I have moves that could, like, stop its, like, capability. Like, I know I can freeze it or poison it or uh, anything, but it's gonna, like... It's gonna take it down. I don't want to use that Ultra Ball on this thing. It's a pair of keys. Am I about to seriously use an Ultra Ball on a pair of keys? I'm gonna feel so bad. And I know what you're thinking. Like, you have enough balls. Don't go for it. It's a matter, it's a pride thing. I don't want to use an Ultra Ball on a pair of keys. It's not worth it. But if I mess up a Great Ball one more time, I'll, I will. Because I, I am on a time crunch. Oh my god, these keys are annoying. Ah! Alright, well, hold on. Time to switch out real quick. Not having ability to get crushed because of a nonsense flash cannon. Whatever. Alright, dude. Get in the ball. I don't have time for this. I can't believe I had to use an Ultra Ball for a pair of keys. Oh, God. It sucks. I better have enough characters for the name I want to give it to you. Yeah, I know what it is. It's 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 keys. Okay, I think I have enough. Just enough. Lost and found. Keys. I had to use an Ultra Ball and a pair of keys. And now it's raining. So there's that. I do like Gotharita. Or, well, I like your evolved form more. <clears throat> uh, it is a boy thing, too. Queen. Although this one, I... Okay, I was about to use a ghost move. Don't give me no fake tears. It's already raining outside. 
I already got enough water going on in my life. Uh, but yeah, I'll just burn it real quick. No crap! Ah, oh, just... that was a boy got to read it too. I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. I was gonna be like, okay, well, uh, Torch Song's doing it, but in case it like boosts my stuff, let me use Flamethrower instead. And then I forgot. Uh, Shadow Ball's uh. <sighs> Shadow Ball's really. Oh, oh, oh yeah, a female Gotharita. Is there another Gotharita around? I don't see another. Oh, there's one over there. Yeah, but what are the odds? It's another. It's a girl. What are the odds? That was the only boy Gotharita. You know what? Screw it. Okay, I'm just gonna use Torch Song. I'm gonna switch Pokemon. That's probably for the best. Oh, you're doing the same thing as the other one did. It's like, well, you killed my brother. It's like, oh, well, uh, life is funny like that. Actually, maybe it's strong enough now. I'm just gonna use a Great Ball. Let's try it. One. Nope. Not strong enough. Good job. Should I just play this game? Nah. Time to bust out the Ultra Ball. Okay, I gotta start, like, speeding things up, though. Immediately? Oh, man. Alright. No! I'm gonna be asleep! Can you put Ghost to sleep? Oh, hmm. Thoughts. Can you put Ghost to sleep? It's not very effective. Melody, but Melody be hurt. Actually, it would probably be Melody. Let me... Let me try and go for a more luck shot. Otherwise, I'm gonna heal Melody. Have her maybe use a weak Psycho Cut that might be able to like help me nail this Gotharita. Or I'll just get it on the shot. Okay, sure. Thanks, game. Uh, let me see. I do want to evolve you immediately, so I am gonna add it to the team. But what do I name you? I used to have a friend, uh, who was, like, super into, uh, Total Drama Island, and she loved Gwen, it was her favorite character, so she, like, made herself look like her, so, shout out to you, Gwen, you probably don't recognize me, but, like, or my voice or anything, but, hey, uh, I like Total Drama Island as well. Let's see. I just want to briefly evolve her, so I'm going to... Hmm. I guess it's only temporary. Let me switch out Elsa. I want to uh, get you leveled up first. Um, I got a lot of these. I wonder how many I need. Oh, well, actually, that's just enough. That works. Dramatic, act, uh, dramatic effect. Spinning the camera around. Goth Hotel. That was quick. It gazes at the stars to predict the future and acts somewhat detached because it has seen the end of all existence. Wow, that's depressing. I mean, you know, it's not... Is it guaranteed? Hey, nothing in the future is set in stone. After all, ends lead to new beginnings. That'd be depressing. Alright, well, time to switch you back. Give me back my Elsa, because I do need my ice. All of these girls, dude! <laughs> Sorry, Zika. Zika's like, I don't mind. Girls rule the world. And you know what? Girls do rule the world, so you're absolutely right. Do I want this bayonet? Do I want the Sinistee? There's a lot of there's a lot of you guys there. I kind of want a bayonet. I've never really had a bayonet before. Hey, don't frisk me. Okay, you're a boy too. Okay. Okay. I'm catching this one. Oh, I'm asleep. Oh. Hmm. Forgot about that. Zuko. Uh, time to wake up. Oh, well, now I don't know if I should, uh... Hmm. 
Make him give the curse itself again. Actually, wait, I don't think you can use, like, two curses. But now I don't know what move I can- I have to switch Pokemon again. Yeah, okay. You can't use two curses. I'm gonna have to switch- Ah! Ow! Has no effects. Darn it. Effective. Effective. No, not, not very effects. Ah, oh, man, this sucks. I really do want to catch it, but the problem is, I don't know what move I can use that will be weak enough. As he should be. Hey! Hey! Stop copying my abilities! Ow! Oh. This freaking curse. I don't want I don't know what move I can use. Maybe we can get lucky. I mean it's pretty healthy though, so it's probably not gonna work. <sighs> eh, it's not gonna work. And this curse is just gonna run me ragged. Alright, alright, fine, fine. <sighs> Dang it. I don't have time for this. I'll have to worry about that next episode. Ah! This sucks. I did want to catch it. I, I, I heard you, by the way. All you guys. And the little Sinisty. Uh, go away. Don't, don't, don't be, don't, don't be getting close now. Y'all remember an uh, episode or two ago, all those other cute Pokemon got close to me. You know what I did to them? Exactly. There are a lot of, like, ghost types. I should start, like, dealing with more ghost, more ghost types. I don't think I really deal with them as much as I ought to. Behold those muscles. Oh, no, behold these muscles. Oh, someone's kind of them, uh, full of themselves. I built these muscles by many trips to the gym. My brilliant broad will surely lead me to victory. That's a mentality to have. Aizen. Well, for your sake, I hope your muscles are, uh, oh no, I think, uh, ooh, I don't think it's going to do you too much. Ooh, I'm hurt, which means I have a crutch. Shame you won't be making use of it. I was about to use items, but there's a Pokemon Center right there, so. Huh, I guess brain, uh, brains be brawn. My massive musculature misled me. Said that three times fast. Okay, I do want to go explore in this area. I do want to get a bayonet and maybe see what other things they have to offer. A little honchcrow. But what I'm gonna do first, or actually, I'm just look at the sign here. Uh, for Nada, huh? Oh, I guess it didn't take too long. Yeah, I've been having a couple. Flare Blitz. Uh, damage these are quite a lot. Ooh, I'll keep in mind. Uh, I need healing. Uh, please. My Zuko's hurts. So, I want to catch a Gardevoir. I want to catch a Bayonet. Um, I don't really want a Honchkrow. I wonder if they're around this area. I mean, this area is like Psychic Harry, right? Psychic and Ghost Heavy. Maybe I'll get lucky and find them? Then again, it's a very big area. Yeah, it's probably gonna take me a good second. All I see is a bunch of Sinisties. <laughs> Sinisties. Uh, no, not that. Not Mischievous. Oh, I got a Lycanroc. There's just trainers over there. Uh, no, no, no. I don't know why I'm expecting to find uh, Gardevoir or its pre-evolved forms in this area. If anything, I should just stick to my original plan, like I said. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Probably just gonna... Because we made it to Afrenata, and this is probably gonna be a Zuko-heavy area, because I think Ghost beats Psychic. Actually, Ghost does beat Psychic. I could try and go for Bandit now. Yeah, but I don't know what moves I can... Oh, Sylphion. Hope you're a boy. Just for reasons, because... Okay, that works. 
Now I need to know what move is weak. I think Torch Song's my weakest. Why didn't I switch from Zuko to someone else? Because I'm probably going to get her one shot. Oh, okay, that works. Ooh, you made it all pink and pretty. I like it. Get in the ball, please. I'm too scared to use other moves. Ugh, I will need other moves. You already made it pretty. I keep hearing these honkings. Get away, birds. Oh, I don't know what moves would be, uh... Oh, boy. What's... I mean, fairy, probably. So, melody might be the better bet. Because I'm thinking, like, what's not effective moves? Then again, if it heals itself a good bit, then maybe I can comfortably use another Torch Song and hopefully not beat it too much? Ah! Oh! Never mind. I gotta switch Pokemon. Zuko's too strong. What are the odds gonna find another Sylphion, too? I know it's I want that bayonet, but dang it! I really wanted that Sylphion. It's just my luck. Well, regardless, I mean, it's Afranada, so I'm gonna call it here. Like I said, folks, I do apologize. This episode's gonna be a bit on the shorter side. Uh, but to make up for it, next time will probably be a little longer. Maybe I'll do an extra episode or two as well, just to make up for it. YouTube, don't worry, you guys will get the whole playlist soon. I mean, you're going to get the episodes anyway. Twitch, uh, watch them, by all means. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to call it here. I did also want to talk about one last brief thing, uh, because I did talk about it briefly during my quote-unquote last episode. I say that as in, like, the episode I thought I was recording, but it messed up. So let's say the in-between episode, or, you know, the extra episode, whatever, whatever you want to call it, the prototype episode. Um, so... Yes, I. you probably have noticed it too, because there was an update. Uh, the DLC is out. Apparently, it's been out for a couple days. I found that out recently. Um, and I do have a desire to play it. However, I do want to beat the story first. So, I am going to work on the gyms and the titans and everything. And then once that's done, then I'm going to do the first uh, DLC. So, I do plan on doing that. So, basically, this Pokemon series is going to be a little longer. I've probably figured. But, I mean, I do appreciate the love and support you guys give me. Uh, even if it's just for a simple view, I'm very grateful. But yeah, on the next episode, I'm probably going to run around this area. Maybe I can get lucky and find another Sylphion. Maybe I can get lucky and find a boy Sylphion. Because, again, I don't mind it because I know Zuko's like, Hey man, I'm cool with this. But seriously, how many of my Pokemon are all female? <laughs> like, girls get it done. Maybe it is because it's World, uh, Women's History Month. You know what? I should change my mindset. I should be like, you know what? I should embrace the fact that I'm getting all these females. Uh, a guy like Zuko can only be so lucky. <laughs> but no, uh, jokes aside though, like I said, next episode, I'm going to explore this area. Maybe get it a bit. I'm trying to get a bayonet. Maybe I can find another Sylphion. But the biggest thing, I'm going to fight the gym. Uh, and then we'll be one more step done. Uh, so look forward to that in the next episode. Uh, like I said, if you like this content, if you wish to subscribe, by all means, you can follow me on my Twitch under the handle of DGR, Or you can subscribe to my YouTube under the same name. Uh, I already did the loaf of dog thing, so I'm not going to do that twice, even though I technically just did. But nonetheless, I thank you guys for your time, and hope to see you all in the most exciting next episode. Although, real talk though, uh, leave me a comment in the section below, uh, everyone. Uh, especially, oh, you guys on YouTube. Uh, how do you feel about, like, Chris Angel and all the other, like, illusionists that, like, lost their luster? Are you a fan? Do you remember Chris Angel? Or, not even Chris Angel... But, well, I mean, him too. But do you know Michael Carbonaro? Like, do you like magicians? Like, who's your favorite magician? That's your thing. Uh, how do you feel about magic? Either you like it, you think it's cool, you're like, no, it's dumb, it doesn't make any scientific reason. I'm curious. But obviously, let's be kind with each other. Let's not make this, like, a huge war or anything. I'm just curious about you guys' like, ideas on this. So, uh, And if you wish to have a little extra time, or you want to just, like, find out more about the other side of things, I do have a Discord where we chat, we make various nerd comments, various memes, all these things. Uh, we also have a section there for the artist block, for those that are more in time to their artistic nature, which is only fitting considering that I'm in an artsy town. But yeah, by all means, uh, if you guys wish to follow more of my content, you already know where to go. Otherwise, I'll see you next time, everyone.